everyone welcome back to another reaction video for inside the episode episode 8 um one of the greatest scenes we've ever had in the game of Thrones world in my opinion um so let's dive right into it warning there's going to be spoiler talk so episode 8 inside the episode let's get in it the episode 6 time jump was to introduce Allison and Rhaenyra's children as young adults and then this time jump was to make those young adults adults so it was important to age them up again and recast yeah, again to get them up to the appropriate age. So they're all in the 17 to 21 age range across the span of both 17 families. to 21 is big Nephews. man in this world, right? <laughs> the casting of this, um, I forgot the actors, you won something? Oh, menacing. As the years have gone by post Alison's As outburst, I saw this, I was like, Alison's yo, where is the Targaryen sigil? a way to redeem herself. We know that Allison holds closely to the new religion of the Seven Gods, which is not something the Targaryens do. It's part of what sets her apart from the house that she married into. In the scene where Rhaenyra and Daemon return to King's Landing for the first time, they see a difference. And there were no words that were well, going to describe Patel, the difference. Up. There you was nothing job, in uh, particular um, in this that episode. they would point out to us. We figured out how to make it read immediately. The big thing is a giant seven-pointed star that's hanging in the main hallway. Gaudy, if you ask me. And I appreciated that about the episode to too. Like, they didn't have to read and spell it. every little detail. It's become a much more quiet and conservative place. Like, it's I enjoyed like, like, the last episode of Lord of the Rings, but they had to read and spell at the end. Of, one, it's uh, full of light and life, and there's Targaryen erotica on the walls, dragon erotica, <laughs> and now it's all been replaced with objects of the seven, and the murals have been covered up. Eight is essentially set in a hospice. The whole episode is essentially sitting by the bedside of a loved one who's dying. Father? Oh, this was Paddy Constantine. The dramatic tension of this episode it, does he, not he, happen he, until he embodies this character, just like how um, Sean Bean embodied Ned Stark. There is, it's a farce. Corliss has been potentially fatally wounded. Whoa. Nobody knows whether or not when he's When I saw this, when I hit it, that door open, I will after we heard Rainier telling her father, you know, to defend us. Um, within Alice's and then you hit that door open, to want I was like, yo, to be deposed this is going to be crazy. Because we saw that he had only gold mask in that trailer previously. So we knew it would have a scene with that, right? Because if Vaiman takes power, then he owes the Greens, and the Valerian fleet will all go with them. I do not understand why petitions are being heard. Over exactly. settled succession. Vaymond, one of those guys who's not <laughs> particularly likable, but he always Crazy. tells the truth and he can't yeah, help truth. it and he can't stop yeah, himself. You talk the truth. For the king won earlier. Really the king told you all. Anybody talk, and talk yet, the truth. Suddenly, it will be considered eight, treason. He finds himself possibly in line to inherit the And Damon told you. Throne. He warned you basically. He also walked you. right like, into say the it, midst say of the contentious issue of Rhaenyra's children and their real father because he's a kind of a do right guy and wants to always tell the truth he do right. misses Doesn't just how right strongly and heavily everybody brother. feels about this you need he to knows sit down yo <laughs> that those children are not Valarian. well everybody knows they're white you want to open your mouth and brown hair <laughs> very obvious and everyone knows yeah. it. It's the pink elephant in the corner that nobody wants to talk about. But Vayman is the one person who will talk about it and who will speak out about it. You may run your house as you see fit, but you will not decide the future of mine. This is something he's been <laughs> holding on to for like 16 and years. I think it's cool. It's said in and the episode previously, when like, the petition yo, goes completely sideways the, 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 the history books, he knows they don't care about blood, sword, they care about but name. I'm gonna fall on my sword. You know, and, and your name will be my there. Way. And my way is to tell the absolute truth. So even if nothing is done about it, everybody in this room will know her children are bastards! Mistake. <laughs> Yo, and it must be said too, I saw a photo around on, um, on Facebook. Like while Viserys was growing up on, kind of on to the throne, that moment. the crown he actually fell off. And it was a honor. beautiful scene where Daemon came to his this. assistants, he did it um, helped him up the stairs, picked up the, cro the crown and placed it back on his head to no, show his brother, like, like you know, we have our differences, but <laughs> I'm still there for you. He can keep his tongue. Craziest scene. Craziest scene in all, all of Game of Thrones. After the petitions, 
demands that there's I, a I don't think I ever curse and that we all like sit and eat loud together. for anything, it's any movie, uh, whether it be Endgame or father no Superman movie, nothing. Some sort that of scene, resolution and closure. that scene felt like perfection, a like final, and we know who Damon is, so it okay. felt so good to see him reassert oh, himself like, yo, and I play no bullshit game at all here. They, 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 these are yeah, my stepkids now. One of the issues so with his leadership standing up for is those kids, it shows a lot a to everyone to in the room. step up and intervene, to speak with clarity and to lay down the law and to stand by choices that he makes. For the first time, certainly in Rhaenyra's life, she really watches him do it. He stands by the family, both sides of the family, in this final dinner. It's like all this his mask, that was real, and all this fighting. Real heroin, but I was like, uh, this is what it does. You know, like, let's see how far this he's come. And the thing is, he just does. wants everybody this to be happy and get along. Yeah? Like, genuinely, he just wants the best for the realm. Just love each other? And his family, of course. It sounds really naff, but it's like, why, why, why can't, can't we just anything? love each other? Why can't we he just make some type of recognition this for this role? Let us no longer hold your feelings in our hearts. The crown cannot stand I strong. Feel, I felt sorry for Alison. The dragon also. remains divided. Because Alison being manipulated so much. Forget me as your king. Just love me as the man that I am to you and your family. If not for the sake of the crown, and for the sake of this old man. Rhaenyra and Alison have always been trying to pull themselves back from the precipice. The idea is that they never really wanted to get into this rivalry together, but they were driven there by the patriarchy, by the men in their Correct. lives. And they have yes. a real friendship and relationship and a better. real love for one another that might and have so gotten sad. cold and stale over the years, but it did exist. And the thing and is, the proposal as as that Rhaenyra made the room, the the young kids, their, their they don't kids. appreciate the history that you has know, gone into this that could and have what's at stake. So many problems. Kick it off again. <laughs> But Eamon his only purpose is to try throne so his best to put the house right Eamon before he does. Train, um, Eamon, which he feels yo, like he does. And the real gangster inside until this, he doesn't. The, this house tag area. <laughs> this is a guy who was unwilling to make enemies of one side to do what was right. So a lot of things in his life went unsaid because he was trying to always tamp down aggressions. And it leads to this final moment where his final message is unclear. He's very ill. He was in a lot of pain. They put him on medication. And he wakes up in that middle of the night trying to have this unfinished conversation that he had with Rhaenyra, not realizing that the woman sitting at his side is it's not Alicent. Rhaenyra, but Alicent. So he speaks to her as if she's Rhaenyra. And Alicent picks out words like Aegon and Prince, who is promised and prophecy. I think it's, and it's and not whatever, her fault. And doesn't she understand has no all the idea context about, um, going back into it because she never heard the song of Ice and Fire because she was never his heir. Don't take milk of the poppy. And then impart really important information just before you die. That's the yeah, learning that curve on that one. We'll drink no rum. <laughs> That's a rum. That's so it is a bit of a tragic end, no, but it goes to the idea that this prophecy is a bit of gossamer sliding through your fingers, and it's hard to grasp all at once. And also his lack yeah, of sad, see, dealing boy. with the issues Man, at, hand, at his court he, that he was responsible for during yeah, his life. From the Walking Dead. <laughs> I don't think he ever <laughs> wanted to be king. It's a burden. He's just doing a duty. He was too human to be king. It was genuinely touching watching Paddy die multiple times. Yeah, I can only imagine how many angles. I can only imagine how many times they filmed this. When he takes his last breath, he maybe feels like he's done all he can and he's put his house right. He did his best. He kept this secret belief. I'm sure he was reaching for his wife, I Emma. And kept that with him until Emma the day Emma? he died. And that's all he could do. Mm. In some respects, sad. he wasn't the right man for the job. It was really a sad But episode. in the history, he kind of was the right man for the job, mm -hmm. you know, 200 years later. So he does have a legacy. So good information. I kind of agree with most of what was said in this. Um, and they didn't really get into what happened when Freeman said out loud, like, yo, they're bastards and, and whatever. Um, so within that instant, now the king warned everyone in past episodes, like if you repeat those words and call his grandkids, um bastards again that's going to be considered treason and he's going to cut off your tongue and when Veyman actually shouted out that they're bastards the king actually pulled out the valerian dagger and his weakened state and i thought he was going to command his king's guard like yo take his tongue straight away but within that moment Damon found his way behind him and literally cut that man he face like wash i was like yo i i bust out like a big f bomb. I was like, damn, that at least somebody makes a promise. 
in this show because in the scene Damon did say say it eh? he like he dared him like I dare you to say it and he shouted it and Damon literally put a man's skull on the ground and to me like like Damon is the star of the show boy like yo if I say I'm going to do something I'm going to do it and uh, that was like the most gratifying scene in all of Game of Thrones on TV in such a long time and it's not like the happy ending to a series kind of kind of um kind of scene it's like like death <laughs> like yo i told you if you say this shit i'm gonna chop your head off and the man actually said it and within a maybe like 15 seconds his head was on the ground um so yeah that 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 that, that is like the highlight of that of, um episode eight for me um let me know down in the comments what you thought about episode eight and what you are expecting to happen in episode nine or that the king is dead um do you think Rhaenyra is going to make it back in time or if it is it going to play out similar to how it played out in the books where some time passes and um Otto Hightower manages to hide the secret for a little while about the king's death and crowns um Aegon and Rhaenyra has to come and and try to figure out how to get back the throne anyway leave me a comment down below and I'll catch you in another reaction video